Android no slouch himself. Dude. Very strong team, but we'll see what M2K and Plup can do here. See, look, they Android's getting bullied, and Armada just comes and says no. <laughs> Ooh, miscommunication. Yeah, not a huge deal there, but... And it doesn't seem like much happened, but look at the percentage discrepancy between the two teams. Right. Great nair out of shield from Armada. We'll see if he can Ooh. finish the kill. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you can't... Wow, that actually Yeah, killed. still got the conversion there. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, great DI from M2K to try to get out of that, but didn't end up mattering. But that worked because Plup had the sky in animation. Yeah. Where it took him so long to recover. Yeah, and that's something that uh, a lot of teams don't really think about, but I actually talked to Armada and Android. Me and Chu talked to them for uh, pretty extensively at HF Land about teams in general, and they brought that up, and it's something that I think a lot of people kind of subconsciously realize but don't actively think about. It's yeah. always better to get the kill off the top because then you have that extra 2v1 situation for a few more seconds because of the longer animation that it takes them to die. Yeah, it's a double whammy that you don't think about in singles. Right. Because like in singles, you can use that time to kind of recoup. Yeah. In doubles, you're uh, you're on a time crunch for your partner. Right. Ooh. And soft back air from Android. So Armada not able to get the follow up there, but still a pretty good lead for Armada Android so far. So it's kind of close, but once again, you bully my brother, you have to face me. Says yeah. Armada. <laughs> So what Plup needs to do there, I mean, you have to kind of see a step ahead. It's kind of like the soccer or hockey pass. You have to realize what Armada's intent there is. Yeah. Um, and Plup going down a little bit prematurely there, and not a good look for green team so far in this game one. Beach King waiting on the cloud to see if he could find a direct opening, and he finds a fair. So sometimes you, you kind of wait on the platform, and you see if they overextend, and then you get right. off. Yeah, definitely a good tactic, and M2K making decent use of it, but again, Armada Android just playing teams so well overall, and we're not seeing the same level of teamwork from M2K and Plup. And Android being able to pick up a little bit of damage on Plup. And look at how he just like kind of avoids situations. He's not overextending, not allowing the 1v1, but yeah. he dies. Um, so it's still doable for M2K and Plup, but it's going to be tough at this point. Obviously, Plup has to do his best to not die, and as I say that, yeah. there he goes. And Mewtwo King might die soon, too. Yeah. Um, M2K, great survivability in general, but sometimes in teams, there's not much you can do. Ooh, you bully my brother, you take 40. <laughs> um, and yeah, the, the team's awareness from M2K, or from uh, Android and Armada is, is pretty insane sometimes. The fact that they are seem to be focusing on one person, ooh. and then they notice, ooh. That was a really good combo by Green Team. It was not the prettiest looking thing, but it got the job done. Yeah. Um, but Green Team bringing this back a little bit. Ooh. A little late on the hit. And there's that, yeah. so that should be the game. And that's the nature of FD against this team. You get hit once, you're, it feels like an eternity when you're up there. Right. So good at the team combos and the follow-ups. Nice job there from Armada and Android. Uh, Sniffing out that little comeback attempt and putting an end to it. Um, Android loving the NTSC up here. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I can kill with this. <laughs> um, definitely some great adjustments in general from Android uh, playing the NTSC version. It's honestly a pretty underrated factor for Europeans coming over to the U.S. Because when I went to Europe, it was shocking how different, how it seems like small changes, but they add up so much. Yeah. And they end up meaning a lot. And then I got a little bit used to PAL, and then I came back to NTSC, and it was like weird readjusting again. And they have to do this constantly, playing in European tournaments and playing in US tournaments. And I think they don't quite get enough credit for how well they are able to switch switch up between yeah. those. I mean, like that could be the difference between like getting a stock and not stealing the edge Exactly, yeah. Um, so Mute King, of course, you know, loving playing Fox on Stadium. Yeah, and they go for the double fox on Stadium. Usually we see M2K just pull out the fox when they get counterpicked on, but this time they actually just decide to go there themselves. Wow, what a reverse forward air from Armada. That was actually insane. But no kill. Yeah, and again, that might be a slight uh, NTSC to PAL conversion thing there because I think Android thought the up B wasn't going to go quite as far since it's a lot shorter in yeah. PAL. So Double Fox, you know, definitely a power team on this stage uh, yeah. with the platforms and how everything works. 
Um, but it's not very stable. There's at any given moment you can have a small lead, and then they could just blow up in your face. Right. Um, you definitely have to be very careful as Fox. It's kind of the the catch twenty two of playing Fox and teams in general, which is you need to do a lot of damage. You need to get some kills, but if you get hit, then you might be dead. So you gotta also avoid that. So. Your lead's not stable. Yeah. Oh. And uh, light colored fox ends up escaping that one v two and ends up winning. Yeah. Android managing to survive here, um, but great start to the match for green team so far. Yeah, they're looking good. And Mewtwo King is not going to put himself in situations where it's going to be like very easy to combo him or rack up tons of damage. Yeah. Oh, great read there from Android. Just sensed that the fox would be off stage and manages to get the relatively early kill on Plup. Armada misses the fall. I thought a back air would have sealed the deal there, but yeah. it's Armada. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always weird when Armada makes a mistake. You kind of wonder, like, okay, what this, was this a glitch in the matrix? Like, what's going on here? Oh, we just assume it's right every time. <laughs> like, even if it may not be. It's like, how dare we question <laughs> Armada? And Armada goes down again. Armada gonna have to try to keep this stock a bit longer than he's done with the first yeah. three. And he's, you know, going in a lot, and I understand that's the role that's the role he has in the team. But it seems like he's actually borderline disrespectful of Mewtwo King and Plop's shield. Yeah, uh, he's kind of just uh, trying to force his way in at times. And M2K and Plop have been making him pay a lot. Wow. Armada wisely running away. Yeah. Android uses his vulnerability for a 50-50 dash attack. It's the up air, and that barely kills. Sheik, of course, that low percentage is really good against things like Fox's near. Good job by Plup sealing the kill on Armada. And against a team like this, where one player is generally much stronger than the other, then you always feel good about getting the, that last kill on that player. You're like, all right, sigh of relief a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. He went yeah. for gold. Although I don't even think if he got the four air. Yeah, at that percent, I think he would have been uh, fine anyway. So. Yeah. But you, obviously, in this situation, you got to make something happen. Got to try to make something happen at least. Um, yeah. And nice job by Plub and M2K. Or else you're gonna have to find like ten openings to kill a fox. Yeah. Um, so the gimps obviously help a lot. But yeah, at that percent, probably wouldn't have killed. Oh, quite he got yet. a Zelda trophy. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so much better game two there from M2K and Plub. Now, I think Plup or M2K is probably going to go back to Sheik, but honestly, I feel like staying Fox might be a better option for him. Our, uh, our modest shield pressure did not look clean in that match. Yeah, um, and I mean, generally speaking, M2K creates so many more openings as Fox than he does as Sheik. He is going to go back to Sheik, but I honestly don't even think I, it would be that bad a call for him to stay I Fox. I love his presence because I think just playing Fox puts you in a mindset where you can be a lot more proactive. Right. But as we say that, look at who's uh, taking control of the stage. It's M2K. Yeah. Not what we typically see from M2K Sheik. And I love that whenever Mewtwo is in a sandwich position, he's just like, I'm rolling the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> Usually towards Android side because you only get hit by down smash once. Right. So this looks really good. Yeah, great start for a green team once again. And you know, this puts into you know question a lot of people like kind of question Mewtwo King's abilities in teams. Yeah. But like if Mewtwo King wins this, what does this say about him that he can pick up a partner like Club? He's and never teamed with, and they yeah. can you know go toe to toe with Armada and Android. Pretty crazy. Um, and Armada not staying alive as well as we're used to seeing, especially on Dreamland. And I love the way that Plub is zigzagging in and out. Yeah, Plub's doing a great job here of just uh, being a bloodhound for these openings. Ooh, wow, Ooh. interesting little teams combo there. Um, and Armada already down to his oh, third stock. Near. But Mewtwo grabs the ledge, protects it for his partner. Yeah. Another underrated team's tactic there is holding onto the ledge and saving it for your partner. Ooh. Mewtwo losing his first stock at 145, but still an incredible stock. Armada only at two stocks. Yeah. Um, again, Ooh. especially on Dreamland, you don't expect to see Armada lose stocks this quickly. Okay. That should be the kill on Plup. There it is. Mewtwo King just getting the hell out of getting sandwiched, but he still takes some damage. Yeah. Hard to quick. But as we say that, Plup needs to play a little bit patient. He looks a little antsy. Yeah. 
It's always funny to me how Armada seems to get punished less for down smash than other Peaches. It's like, it seems like he has different frame data on his down smashes. Yeah. It's the Justin Wong effect where you have some, or like the Daigo effect where you have yeah. so much respect for them. Right. You're like, wait, what? Like, yeah. Uh, ooh, love that Android's picking up these little hits, but Michi King, that was such a good fair. Gives them so much room. Great back air out of shield from Club there. Hits both Armada and Android. But um, this is a potential swing situation where the link lead could swing into Red oh, Team's wow. favor, but not quite. Plub gets both up smashes, and now a strong lead for Plub and M2K. Um, definitely not how we thought this would go down, but as I said at the beginning, if if Plub can maintain his stocks pretty well and still do some work, then... And they're being annoying right now. Mewtwo King's just trying to find whatever damage he can add yeah. to the stock. <laughs> and if Plub gets hit once, not a big deal. I yeah. mean, he's at 157. Yeah, he's going to die soon anyway. They added almost 60 damage there. Right. So good stuff to M2K and Plub. And being this is Dreamland, this is the flip side of Dreamland. You live long, but look at how Plub is able to pick his spots. Right. He's got a lot of room to work with here on Dreamland, and he's been making use of it very well. I love it's like Plub in the corner. I'm just going to roll the hell out. <laughs> and it just seems like every one of Android's approaches have been very predictable, and he's been getting punished a lot. Yeah. Like, it's like a fair from the ledge, random, like, let's run across the stage and grab. These haven't really been really thought out very well. And right. Oh, and Armada with the rare miscue actually SDs and yeah, M2K wow. Plup solidly taking the game on Team Alliance's counter pick, no less. And Plup was able to use top platform very well there. He was able to roll on the stage, and every time he found himself in trouble, he was able to get out. Yeah. So the... The kind of situation where they might have counterpicked themselves a little bit by giving Plup so much room to work yeah. with. And Android's like, I felt like Android was like, oh, we're behind, let's try to get something going. Yeah. And it was very not well thought out. Right, right. Yeah, it's, it's you can't get antsy in those situations if you're, just because you're losing, you can't force the openings. You gotta still try to let them happen. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, US Fox, when you see Sheik run at you, it's like either one of two things, dash attack or grab, right. and you're ready for it. And it just felt like he just prematurely just ran across the room. Like, I don't know, it's like, I guess if you're like doing judo, like you're running at them and you do a jump kick and then they just flip you over. <laughs> yeah, his his approaches became a bit too predictable yeah. at the end of that game. It was desperate, I think that's the right word. Right, and I mean, again, for Android, he's teaming with Armada, obviously the best player in the world. It's when you kind of lose that safety net because yeah. Armada's already died a lot, it, it becomes kind of difficult to keep your composure. And I think the big thing here was that he was running too far ahead of Armada. Yeah. Um, like, go back to your game plan that worked. You guys work together as a ball. Like, you guys need to stay next to each other. Don't separate too much. Ooh, great down smash from Armada. Ooh. Ooh. And already we're seeing a much better start to yeah, this game for Team Alliance. We didn't see any of that in the last game. Yeah. Uncharacteristically, we almost always see at least a team combo or two from Team Alliance. And it just, Alliance. like, kind of brings a close game into their favor. Right. Ooh, good back air. And I'm going to say that was an amazing back air because it was. <laughs> Um, Android does go down, but still a much better start to this game yeah, for Team they Alliance. Have a lead. Yep. Um, Pop most likely is not going to live. Ooh, great Ooh, needle, but, but should still be yeah. it. Yep. And there's not too much you can do in those types of situations. You don't want to put yourself in harm's way too much when yeah. you're trying to save your teammate. And the, the trade off there was I thought, honestly, Mutikin could have kept his invulnerability. Instead, he ended up taking like 50 damage trying to save Plub, where it would seem pretty low um, percentage wise that he would actually get the save. Right, right. Ooh, great uh, forward air there from Android. Not quite able to secure the kill on Plub, though. Yeah. And Android's back in his comfort spot. Let's not overexert ourselves. Right. We're going to just pick up on stray hits and openings. Yeah. And again, Armada this time has the most stocks as opposed to last game where he had the least stocks. So he kind of has that safety net this time. Yeah. I wonder if they had a discussion and they just kind of, like, on without, like, Without verbal communication, like Armada was like saying, like Android, you approach. Yeah, yeah. Because it just felt like Armada didn't really hit, wasn't really proactive, and maybe that's because he was discouraged in game three. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I think I definitely would not be surprised if they had the ability to telepathically communicate. <laughs> it certainly seems like it sometimes with their team combos. Yeah, so it just seemed like Armada wasn't taking the lead anymore. Maybe Android thought he had to take the lead. Yeah. And there's really only one sheet that I know can that can do that pretty well at a high level, and that's true. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's working out definitely better for them so far. The fact that Armada's been able to keep his stocks much better is huge. He still hasn't lost a stock, and it's been yeah. almost two and a half minutes. Yeah. By this point, last game, he was at like one stock already, so yeah. that's the big difference we're yeah. seeing here. It was a, it's a four stock difference, because Beauty King was at like four stocks when Armada was at two. Right. And I think Armada was actually at like 50%. Hmm. Ooh, and Ooh. the save, is it going to work out though? Not quite. So, but see, at that situation, Armada had just respawned. He was at 0%, and he's not taking too big a risk by going out there and trying to save his teammate. Ooh, you don't want to be stuck in this corner as a Ooh. free team. M2K almost got the Edgehog on club there, and that would have been disastrous for Team Alliance. Ooh, and Wow, okay, so Android, such good awareness there. So he had the option to continue the team's combo, but he saw that he also had the option to take the edge guard and guarantee that kill, and he went for the edge guard instead. And in the meantime, he added damage with the tech chase. Yeah, really smart stuff from Android. Ooh, but goes down a little bit early. Yeah, that's a tough spot because a mini Nair covers that full recovery. Yeah, there wasn't much he could have done there. And unfortunately, a soft hit prevents like any hope of like getting a tech. Right. Oh, well, this is where they can blow the game up. Ooh, nice shield drop into the up air. Doesn't get too much off it, though. And there goes M2K. So now Plup going to try to have to survive. Yeah. Unfortunately, he exhausted his double jump. Yeah. And Team Alliance smelling blood in the water as far as Plup goes. But one of the big things they could do is if they can find a quick kill on on um, Android, yeah, are and they going to save it or are they going to give Armada oh. double? And oh, that was unfortunate. Uh, although Peach had two stocks, they you know, would want Armada to have yeah, yeah. I mean, it's generally speaking, you would want Sheik to take the stock there, but not when the Peach is Armada. <laughs> this, the funny thing here is that I, always, I almost feel like this is like an almost even game. Yeah. Most situations, this would be vastly <laughs> in the 2v1. But speaking of which, this is a 2v1 to win the set against Alliance. Yeah, that's the actually heavy crazy. of this tournament. And there's the Nair. That should be the stock. Barely Dude. gets the stock. Oh, my oh, gosh, man. Armada. Bad needles from M2K right there. And... Now M2K is going to have his work cut out for him against the best player oh in the world. Oh my gosh. And there it is. What a an, an insane clutch factor from Armada to just buckle down and not really even seem flustered. The fact it that... It almost felt like Armada had the lead. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, he's he's like, all right, I got this. You know, even though it's 2v1 against two of the best players in the world, and he, he didn't seem like he was at all, you know, uh, affected by that. I was like, oh, this is like... I guess kind of even. Yeah. Even though Mutine's only at 20. So great stuff from Armada there. Taking it to game five. And now we'll see what M2K and Plup are really made of. Can they keep yeah. this up? Because you saw frustration in their faces. Yeah. They knew that they almost had it. Um, had it slip through their fingers. But great start so far. Amazing start. Ooh. But you take that trade as Mutine King. Yeah. Like, it was a kind of tough spot. It's like, how long do you grab ledge so right. that one of them live and Armada dies. Definitely worth it, though. Also smart by Armada, though. He actually moved his, his parasol away. He could have potentially saved Plup on accident, but he uh, moved away so that that didn't happen. Did you see that tech? Yeah. <laughs> Nutty. Ooh. Oh, wow. you don't want to go into a down smash competition. Yeah. <laughs> Not against a Sheik and a Peach. OK. And Android's been getting abused, honestly, in the last, like, game and a half. Yeah, he's uh, not looking too strong here. Armada's definitely looking like he's having to carry like, the load. He's been getting the pickups, but like it just I just feel nervous for him. Like Anytime he spends like longer than two seconds with Plop or Mutant. Yeah, ooh, and the jab up smash there. Android yeah, ooh, and that's overextends there a little bit. Uh, just not a good spot to go in and try to go off the edge there. But this game is still really close. Yeah, super close. Anyone's game still, but it's looking like the momentum is slightly in M2K and Plop's favor. Okay. Yep. Still close, still doable. Yeah. Swedish Sniper strikes again. So good. And Muta King is so proactive here. That's one thing we got to mention. Yeah. Uh, we don't see him go in quite this much usually in teams, but he's doing a great job of picking his spots with it. Ooh. Uh, Club second guessed that tech chase. He recognized that Armada was rolling, but like I think if it was in like it was like a Mac, he would have gone to get that tech chase. Yeah. But he's Plup's in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, we'll see if Armada can finish this. That would be huge for Team Alliance. And, and he does. And Mutiking gambled on beating Android there. 
It just didn't work oh, out. Oh, wow. Android accidentally saves Plup with the needle. Not a good look right there. He was trying to hit N2K with the needle, I believe. But still, this this is swinging in our Alliance's favor right now for sure. Ooh. Wow, bit great of stuff. Club. And Armand and Android are going to take four stocks in a row. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and there, I don't. So how did Android end up losing that situation? Uh, I don't even know. It's, oh, so this is super close now. The lead swings back to M2K and Plup, and Plup doing a great job of survival right now. And even though Plup is, uh, you know, high damage, Mewtwo King can't take too much damage either, or else they lose. As you say that, he gets swallowed up by a down smash. He's already at 81. Yeah, this is not a good look. Oh, and then there goes Plup. M2K's got to be extremely careful right now. Yeah. One Nair trade, if he's towards the side of the stage, will yeah. not work out. So this is going to be a lot of pressure on Plup, but he can't get sandwiched. But if Android keeps doing these approaches, I'm actually really nervous for them. Like, yeah. why is he needling at that close? Right. And why is he jumping so much? Yeah. <laughs> I'm meeting in the corner. <laughs> yeah, both teams kind of playing very defensive right now. They're not trying to give up these last stocks. Like, I'm really nervous about Android because he's uh, doing a lot of risky approaches that can get punished. Ooh. Oh! And the early kill. And oh, there wow. it is. Oh, wow. Mewtwo King Plup do it. What a finish from M2K and Plup. They really kept their composure extremely well. Definitely in the deficit there on that last Look shock. at that smile. Look at that <laughs> smile. Yeah, I mean, I just thought that the, the Android overjumped and Plup.